Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Cryptocurrency Theory. Let's do an update on one of my favorite coins, guys, Bitcoin SV. Now, it's been a minute since we've done an update on that coin, or this coin. So, we need to do an update on it, guys, to let you guys know where everything's at right this second in terms of the price. All right, so if you guys haven't checked out our channel, guys, check it out because we are talking about the one, the only, the controversial Bitcoin SV, guys, as some people call it, the original Bitcoin. Um, you know, I don't know about, uh, I don't know about any specific names in my own right, guys, but I do like this coin. I'm a fan of this coin. It's one of the coins that has significantly held its low transaction cost, basically indefinitely. You know, the, the transaction cost had never really gone up that much, and it always works. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about where the price is at, because we fell back into the red zone here, according to coin market cap, according to Binance. They, the same people that delisted it back in 2019, but then last year added the futures leverage contracts to the platform for BSV, which is a bit, bit kind of weird if you think about it. I mean, I you know I'm not I'm not a rocket scientist here, guys, but it seems like it's a bit weird. Uh, price on Bitcoin SV, guys, we we edged down a bit. You know, we've been kind of kind of coming down, and I also have another chart I want to look at real quick here. Uh, this BSV graph against Bitcoin, guys, looks like we have fallen back down to where we were at last year, uh, which isn't saying much considering, you know, um, you know, we went so far up in January. We did like, you know, a hundred over a hundred percent gain on BTC. So uh, you guys doubled your Bitcoin, your Bitcoin holdings. If that that was the goal, but we have edged down. It seems like all the way where we were at last year in terms of BTC now. Obviously, guys, uh, this isn't looking good from a price perspective. I mean, I don't want to start zooming out here and giving you guys a heart attack if you guys are not cool with this coin. But, um, you know, I still am bullish, guys, not because I'm in denial about what is the current price is, but it's because this community seems to be uh, one of the very communities that's like one of the strongest communities. I mean, some of the people in the community, not going to lie, a little bit too extreme on the Craig Wright thing, but... You know, I respect everybody's decision. That's just what they think, guys. You know, I, I have mutual respect for people's uh, decisions, even though that's not what I necessarily think. But um, nonetheless, guys, the price is, um, you know, it it's a really weird coin in terms of price. Because, like, if we look at it on dollars, it's, you know, it was one of the better performing coins going into the FUD of the Bitcoin ETF that we saw at the beginning of the year. You know, if we zoom out, um, you know, we went we went really high here and then we went back up towards the FUD and it's just been a it's been a really crazy ride um, all the way from $17. I know it's not registering that drop down there, but before we took that jump on Bitcoin Cash, guys, if you don't remember, uh, Bitcoin Cash uh, fell, I believe, under 100 bucks, and I saw Bitcoin SV, don't quote me on this, you know, I know Joshua Hensley said it was like 20 bucks or 21 bucks, but I saw it go on Robinhood on the, uh, the Robinhood app. You know, obviously you can't buy it there, but they track it. I don't know where they pull the fee from. It went down to $17. So, you know, going up to $120, it's like, what, 400% gain? Uh, so, like, if people are really looking for gains, you know, this might be a coin that uh, might offer the volatility to you for a short-term play, you know, I mean, not not financial advice, but uh, it's, it's offered quite a few opportunities to capitalize on not only the BTC price, but the dollar price as well. And I'm just saying from a trading perspective, guys, you know, it's not our thing here on the channel, but I'm just saying, like, we, we edged all the way down back to where we were at a year ago. I mean, it seems like, I mean, this isn't a TA, guys, but as you see, we came all the way down here, down here where we were at last June uh, before we spiked up. And then, like I said, we've been kind of just doing this weird uh, volatility thing. There was that thing with that Craig Wright case back, I think, in, uh, what was it, January, I think, or maybe that was March. We had the ETF FUD and Craig Wright, uh, you know, the Craig Wright drama. That sent the coin, you know, substantially higher, um, you know, just to let you know, it did send it substantially higher. And I just remember the week we were looking at the, the most FUD come out of BTC for the ETF. And all I remember, guys, is BSV just being up the whole fucking time. And that was just really weird because it was a weird timing uh, of sorts because we would think with the BTC ETF, that would be, you know, it would seem that BTC would be the one going up, but it's like every day we looked at the FUD around the BTC ETF, BSV was the top gainer out of all top 100 coins for like the entire week. And that's just a little bit strange to me. And a lot of people will say, oh, well, 
you know, that has nothing to do with it. And, you know, what does that have to do with it? But, guys, it was the only coin up during the FUD for the BTC uh, hype into the ETF. I mean, that has – you have to – you guys have to get that – you know, you guys have to reference that point if you if you're if you're just watching if you're a BSB hater and for some reason clicking on the video, which we get a ton of, by the way. It's like I think we get more people that hate on the BSB videos, but for some reason are looking it up than we do actually people that are supporting. But I know BSB has a strong community, guys, because every single video I make, we get a ton of feedback. We get a lot of people saying they're still buying. You know, they're saying it's at a great price point and that kind of thing. And I just I just want you guys to remember that. It doesn't take a lot of money to move BSV. We're only at about a billion dollar market cap. Right? Billion dollar market cap is not a lot in crypto. You know, we've seen coins go from billion dollar market caps to twenty billion dollar market caps, which is insane. I mean, I remember when fucking Ethereum was like less than a fifty thousand fifty million dollar market cap. Imagine if we just went to fifty, we'd be at fucking three hundred dollars. Uh, what would we be at? Three thousand uh, dollars per B BSV. So my point is, don't focus too much on the price right now on BSV. Focus on the opportunity with the volatility. If you are trying to do short-term trades, obviously it has a lot of volatility uh, in it. So, I mean, if you get in at a low point, uh, you can almost guarantee that it's not going to stay down there forever. Uh, and also, if you're building out your portfolio for the long term, like I always tell you guys, if you have, you know, 10 Bitcoin, you should, you know, obviously hold 10 BSV, 10 Bitcoin uh, cash, 10 Bitcoin diamond, 10 Bitcoin gold. But, you know, BSV and Bitcoin cash are the two that I'm going to recommend because I think those have the best chance of performing really well in a bull run. And um, like I said, we just cannot forget uh, just the little amount of drama, the little amount of FUD that sent BSV 100% up. Like I said, the Craig Wright drama was one time. The, uh, you know, the, uh, what was it? The, uh, uh, the, the, the Bitcoin ETF was another time. So just bear in mind that like a small market cap coin like BSV that does have the fundamentals minerals of nodes, mining, that kind of thing, it does have the ability to move really fast if we start taking off in a bull run. So I'm just saying, keep it on your radar. You guys don't have to, you know, you guys don't have to buy it because I have it. You know, you guys don't have to, you know, be bullish on it because I'm bullish on it. Just look at the opportunity just in case because, like, if we start seeing it move in a bull market, like if we go back into a bull market with, you know, Bitcoin and it starts coming up, you know, it, it it's just a... BSV is one of the fastest moving coins that I've personally seen, guys. I mean, other than like, I mean, it's it's like one of the top ones. It, it literally is one of the top ones. So just in a bull market, when we start seeing coins take back off, just glance at BSV now, now and again and kind of see what I'm talking about with the volatility. Again, I'm not telling you guys to run out and buy it. If you guys don't like it, you know, that's cool. We can we can bounce ideas back off, you know, one another and, and formulate our own opinion about it. That's all good. But just take note to the volatility, like when it starts moving, like it's crazy how fast it moves and, and it's not something that can be ignored uh, because it is technically uh, a version of Bitcoin and it is technically uh, done pretty, uh, pretty, I wouldn't say pretty good overall in terms of price, but I would say if you look at certain price movements, uh, there have been major opportunities in Bitcoin SV and, you know, I know some people say we're kicking a dead horse here on the channel talking about it, but uh, we haven't really seen uh, it not perform well in a bull market. I mean, in the bull market, it went up over 300 bucks. So, um, you know, just keep your awareness and your and your and your openness to this coin. I'm not saying like you have to buy it uh, to be part of this channel or anything like that or anything like that. If you guys don't like it, I know we have kind of a split sided community in terms of Bitcoin as via here on the channel. But I'm bullish on it. I'm letting you know, guys know that it's there's been several opportunities for the coin to do really well. And it has done really well in these specific opportunities. Like I said, from $17 to $120, that's a pretty fat gain, guys. That's a pretty fat gain. Uh, yeah, it's like over 400% gain. So just bear in mind, uh, we've seen little, little uh, circumstantial um, uh, drama type events move the coin really fast. And I would say like moving into the future, it would be the same type of events. Like little things uh, can add uh, quite a bit of, of price action in terms of upward price to this particular coin just because coin just because there's there's not it's not traded a lot of places guys obviously and, and you know that 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 can be looked at as a good thing or a bad thing but also just because of the fact that it's just it does have a strong community guys that's undeniable so you know don't take my word for it guys look into it just follow it follow it here on the channel we are going to be following talking about it a little bit more as we see prices kind of kind of start to get back going so 
I just want to do an update on BSB, you guys. You know, I'm, I'm still holding. A BSB is an untouched position for me, so it's literally, uh, you know, been set in stone for a couple years now. So you just see how it does long term. Obviously, nothing's for sure, but, uh, you know, let's be positive about this stuff. Let's see how it turns out. You know, nothing, nothing is guaranteed, but nothing's over either. So we'll just see how it goes, guys. Take care.